Hello everybody, this is Storm 101 here. Today we'll be looking at the U.S. weather forecast and we'll also be looking at the tropics for the Atlantic and for the Eastern Pacific. Now, as of right now, we got a slight risk for severe weather going on for Kansas and there's also that severe thunderstorm watch issued announced 29 minutes ago. So, main concern for right now is just pretty much just going to be damaging winds and there's a small tornado threat and there's a small chance for hail as well. So it's mainly going to be the damage wind threat. Storm report so far. Some more. We have no tornado reports but we have a good amount of wind reports and a couple of hail reports. And got your Tropical Storm Watch there. So, yes, we got scattered showers of thunderstorms for, for most of the central and eastern United States. It, it, we got a couple in the northeast. So, the main thing today is mainly going to be about Labor Day and also for the tropical uh, systems that have been possibly developing. Now, as you can see here, there's a little bit of snow. So this is tomorrow. Scatter showers of thunderstorms could be in for Labor Day, mostly for the United States for the most part, except for these states like Nevada, California, and Oregon, and North Dakota, and Wyoming. Maybe Montana as well, and Minnesota is possible. Now, let's go ahead and continue. Um, we do have, we could have a cold front developing here. And severe weather chances has been mostly going to be around for stretch from Oklahoma, going for Kansas, Iowa, Missouri, Nebraska, Minnesota, Illinois, and up to Wisconsin for the most part for severe weather probabilities and if we continue on it's mostly going to be a wet pattern for mostly in this area in particular may get a couple systems to try to develop up in the northwest and then that's so on forth and yeah there's Florence right there it's not updated all the way so won't be bothering that. And here's the now let's go into the tropical side. And we got three systems. This is right now. We got a weak system there. We got a hurricane here. And that's a pretty nice hurricane there. And we also got a tropical storm or a category one hurricane there. and zoom out here so here's the Atlantic we're going to, have to watch for a tropical wave that's out right around the Dominican Republic going across Cuba and then the development possibility will be happening in the Gulf so if we go ahead and hit play on this you got four inch going pretty strong that's going to be continuing for a while and then, if we go ahead and go back into Florida, look at that, we're trying to get a system trying to develop there. This is the end of Labor Day. So I'm loading in, let's go to 4 a.m. on Tuesday. There's your other tropical wave happening just off of Africa. You got four it's going. Do you got this system as possible? So this thing will probably hit New Orleans probably by Tuesday. And as you can see here, that's probably a tropical storm there. And you still got that system trying to develop and you got Florence there. Now if we go ahead and continue, we may get another system that may try to develop in the Eastern Pacific there. We're going to watch that closely. Then it enters into Louisiana. 
and it kind of sticks around there so there could be some flooding potential there now Florence is still going we got another system that this is on Friday so I'm gonna be stopping here um, <clears throat> 11 a.m. on Friday and this is in Eastern time we've got another system that's come off of Africa so we'll be watching that closely and we'll just go through the day on Friday there's your three systems just kind of in a line there and we'll just stop there now if we back up to 7 p.m. on Sunday here we go on to the Easter Pacific and we're just going to be hitting play. Hawaii's going to be, have to watch this hurricane. That'll be coming closer. So there's our hurricane going pretty strong. We got that's probably turned into a hurricane, the one behind it. Now this time it may miss it to the north. Right now it's kind of hanging straight towards Hawaii. It's not wanting to load in. Why? Oh, there we go. Then, this is the European model, by the way. This is... Be turning right towards Hawaii from the European model. It'd be a slow mover, so... Flooding could be the case there. Something's going on with my internet here. Don't know what's wrong with it. Let's go to 1 p.m. on Thursday. That system dies out. 9 a.m. on Friday, you'll miss it to the north. Now 12 p.m. on Saturday, kind of dies out. That's a large wolf pressure system up in Alaska. So yeah, back in the Atlantic, we may get another hurricane there. So now if we go back to the tropical tippets, and I forgot to show you all the temperature, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. So, let's see. Let's see if this is the right one. Oh, definitely not the right one. But we'll go ahead and reset it to zero. Um,. meter temperature let's see well I guess this can work so we're here we are right now so by looking at um, we see warmer temperatures in the west and for the east in between you could try to get some cold air so cold air kind of sticks around in the central United States for a while and then you get another ridge that tries to develop out in the west while we're getting more cooler temperatures trying to go on in the northeast then that kind of continues along and it's just kind of a mess around already back to the hurricane stuff so here we are we got four I mean three possible systems that could develop so this is seven here so right now it has 30 mile hour winds this is just off of cuba and it's moving west to northwest at 15 miles per hour so it's a slow moving storm for right now and 48 hours has a high 80 percent development in the next chance for the next five days will be 90 percent so that thing has a high chance of developing now here we are at florence 50 miles per hour, tropical storm, moving it's a little faster, 17 miles per hour. And this guy here has 0% chance of developing in the next 48 hours, but does have a 20% chance of developing for the next 5 days. So we'll be watching these systems closely, especially for 7 here. We'll be watching that really closely. Now if we go into the Eastern North Pacific, Sorry, um, 
we got two systems here. We got Norman Category 4. 100 mark, 130 miles per hour, moving a little faster at 20 miles per hour. Then we got Olivia. Um, this is a tropical storm as well. Its movement is west northwest at 7 miles per hour. So the, all of these systems are moving in the summer direction with winds 45 miles per hour. So that's kind of the systems of disturbances right now. Now, hmm, let's see. For some reason, it says tropical storm forms. Here we go. Arrival times. Here we go. So this thing may have a chance to reach a Hawaii at Wednesday or mostly Wednesday and Thursday. So yes. I'm watching that. Wind probability, so this is tropical storm. They're not in the color just yet. And then snow cones. Here we go. Here's this one here. So, <clears throat> seems like it would be a tropical storm possible. So, looks like it would be reaching in Hawaii as a tropical storm, possibly around Thursday and Friday from this one. And it would be a major hurricane till on Monday at 11 p.m. and dies down just into a Category 2 hurricane. So we'll see what happens from there. Go back to the GFS model. We'll go to Hurricane, GFS. Let's look at 7 first. So here is... I don't know where we are. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me back this up. Okay, here we are. Cuba. Now, if we move along... It's kind of broken. I don't know what's wrong with it. Well, we'll be skipping that. Let's go to... Um, let's go to Norman. Hurricane Norman. Back this up. Here we go. Well, let's just hit play. So, as you can see here, it does die down quite a bit. And as you can see on here, it don't show Hawaii. Let's back it up. Yeah, it shows it's not going to be showing too much for Hawaii. So, it is a possibility that could hit, that Norma could hit Hawaii, which is going to have to see soon. Now, now if we like Jedi, real quick, you know this thing is broken as well. Jedi earlier this weekend was the strongest hurricane of 2018. Um, well, I should say Super Typhoon, I think it hit winds up to 180 to 185. So it was a very, very strong typhoon. It was a Super Typhoon. Now it has been dying out continuously towards Japan. So they don't have to worry about it being that strong. It would just be dying down. Most of the frame would probably just be Category 1 Hurricane or Tropical Storm. The rain totals will be a little bit high. So that's all I got for y'all guys today. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If you never want to miss an upload, hit the subscribe button first. And then hit that bell icon so you'll never miss an upload. And leave a like. And leave a comment what you think about this video. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.